All right, here we go. Yeah! Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Derek Ray. This is Derek Ray DTW Derek Ray Live. Thank you for joining us at uh, this news hour. It is now 9:02 p.m. and I mean, sorry, 9.02 a.m. this morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get down to it. Let's skip on to the news report real quick. Alexa? Alexa, what is today's news? Derek, here's what's new. From WSMV Channel 4 in Nashville, here are today's top headlines. At least one person is hurt in a robbery that led to a shooting in Spring Hill. Police believe this happened near Elm Street. We know one person has been shot and was taken to the hospital. We're working right now to learn more about this, and we'll bring you that information when it comes into the newsroom. There's an endangered child alert out for a 12-year-old out of East Tennessee. Her name is Rebecca Lynn. He is missing out of Rockwood, about 47 miles west of Knoxville and about two hours east of Nashville. The TBI says Rebecca was last seen around 8.30 yesterday morning. She's described as five foot four inches tall, brown hairs, brown eyes. She was last seen wearing a T-shirt, ripped jeans, flip-flops, and a black Adidas hat. If you see her, if you want to see a picture, go to our website. If you see her, call police. Tennessee has just logged its worst day since the pandemic began. Nearly 2,500 new cases and 20 new deaths were reported yesterday in our state alone. In total now, 55,000 Tennesseans have been infected with the virus since it began in March, and now 685 have died as a result. In a news conference yesterday, state leaders warned us that the virus is not slowing down and reminded Tennesseans to remain vigilant. Today, the Mid-State tributes and memorials will continue for the late Charlie Daniels. An open visitation is being held for the country music icon. This is at Sellers Funeral Home on Mount Juliet Road. It begins at 10 o'clock in the morning. This morning, it wraps up at 8 o'clock tonight. The funeral will take place in Murfreesboro tomorrow, and the governor has ordered flags to be at half-staff in Charlie Daniels' honor. Now, your forewarned weather. More summer heat for your Thursday. High temperatures in the low to mid 90s, scattered showers, and a couple of thunderstorms at times. Some folks will say completely dry today, but there's still several more opportunities for rain out there as we roll in through Friday. A 50 50 shot. It's hot in the low 90s. A dry Saturday, 92. The 90 degree heat will continue through the end of the week and especially down the road for early next week. With your 41 forecast. I'm meteorologist Laura Bannon. And I'm Chris Miller, and that's your uh, news, Alexa. News for your Alexa, weekend. cancel. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was your news update for you today about uh, the great Charlie Daniels, uh, the country icon. Uh, he'll be dearly missed. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, moving on to the next news report. Um, so we are going to be checking a few states today. Probably not that much today because I'm not going to have that much time today. So I'll try to do everything I can to check up on all the states. Um, so let's do it now while we still can. Um, so let's do this. Alexa, what is the temperature of Oklahoma City right now? Right now, it's 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 99 degrees. Alexa, what's the temperature of Oklahoma City? Right now, it's 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 99 degrees. Okay, so she caught on to what I said. Sorry, I had her repeating twice. I wasn't sure if she caught on to what I said. All right, um, Alexa, what is the temperature of Calumet, Oklahoma? Right now, in Calumet, Oklahoma. It's 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 101 degrees. That is hot. Alexa, what is the temperature of Midwest City, Oklahoma right now? Right now, in Midwest City, Oklahoma, it's 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 99 degrees. Well, I feel sorry for you folks out there in, in Midwest City area. Alexa... What is the temperature of Norman, Oklahoma? Right now, in Norman, Oklahoma, 
It's 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 97 degrees. Alexa, what is the temperature of uh, Wheatland, Oklahoma? Right now, in Wheatland, Oklahoma, it's 83 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 98 degrees. Alexa, what is the temperature of uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma? Right now, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, it's 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 99 degrees. Alexa, what's the, Alexa, what's the temperature of Chelsea, Oklahoma? Right now, in Chelsea, Oklahoma, it's 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 94 degrees. Alexa, thank you. You're welcome. Alexa, what is the temperature of Red River, Oklahoma? Sorry, I don't know that location. Alexa, what's the temperature of Red River, Texas? Sorry, I didn't get that location. Oh, well. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, Alexa, what is the temperature of El Reno, Oklahoma? Right now, in El Reno, Oklahoma, it's 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 101 degrees. Alexa, thank you. You bet. Sorry, folks, I was yawning, so I slept in quite a bit early this morning, so I'm still awake now, but I'm just a little tired. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I will probably have to cut this short, um, so please remember to be safe out there. Don't drink and drive, and stay a few feet away from people through this whole coronavirus pandemic, COVID-19. And I heard yesterday about that they're wanting to open schools again uh, due to Donald Trump's orders of president. Um, but my personal opinion is I think they're not ready for that yet because of the fact that um, if they put kids in that small classroom, just because they want to put seats a few part away from each other, they're still going to get that virus no matter what, because they're going to be shoved in those rooms together. Um, so I think, in my personal opinion, that we're not ready for kids to go back to school yet. Um, so, but that's my opinion. But if Donald Trump wants to risk him getting sick, uh, more power to him. But me, I would not want to do that to the kids. Um, the kids are our future. And we want them to be not sick and we want them to be alive and well and everything. Uh, my personal opinion is just homeschool them for now. But uh, you don't have to take my word for it. Uh, i just trying to help you out here. Um, so, but I will do the, um, if I wake up early enough, I will do more of the news report of uh the different temperatures of the United States of America. So um, just bear with me here, and uh, uh, I will do what I can when I can. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. This is Derek Ray, DTW, Derek Ray Live. It is now 10, 10 a.m. this morning. Um, Alexa, what is today's date? It's Thursday, July 9th. It is Thursday, July 9th. I had to be sure. So the... Uh, it is now 10, 11 a.m. this morning, so it's my log out time. Thank you for watching, and and God bless everybody, and have a great day. Thank you for watching. This is Derek Ray, DTW Derek Ray Live. Please stay safe. Until next time, I'm Derek Ray, DTW Derek Ray Live. Yeah! Thank you for watching.